Hello, everybody! Willpower64 here, bring you back to another part of Banjo and Kazooie! Last time, we opened the world to Treasure Trove Cove and explored a little bit of it. This time, we will be exploring more of Treasure Trove Cove by going over here. If you recall in the last episode, or part, I guess part would be more better because that's what they're being known as, uh, we found bottles up here. And we want to go talk to them. And with that, they're activated. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Nice going. You've learned all the cove's new moves. Nice indeed. So, all you gotta do is hold A and not and you gotta hold A for the whole time, because if you don't, this is what will happen. You will stop. You can't even just press A, you gotta hold it. So hold A. And we got a mumbo token. Very nice. We wanna come down here, and we have two paths we can go through. We'll go this way. Jump up here. And we got some notes. We wanna grab that. Come over here. And we wanna jump onto the next spring. And we'll get some red feathers. We have yet to see Kazooie fly, yet she's already learned how to. Don't worry, that will change very soon. So we come up here, and there is a Jiggy in a cave. Not really much of a cave, but we'll go with that. And there we go. Now we're up to three. So we want to come down here, and I know there was that second area we could have gone through. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go over there. You want to go back up? Ow. Come here. There you go. I want to grab the... Dang it. Man, we're losing our eggs like no tomorrow, and those things are powerful, knowing if they took down a gorilla in the last episode. No, last world, I mean. Oops. Anyways, want to come over here, and we can get some more eggs. That's very, very good. There we go, and we recovered on those eggs that we've lost. That's very good. And we got a Jinjo, the purple one, and yay, we are not going in the order we found. Sorry, Orange, but purple was found first. Coming up here, we got some notes. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything else up here aside from notes and uh, the enemy. Uh, there's a little island over here. I'm gonna go have a look. And we're gonna take this guy up. And there seems to be nothing else over here as well. But who knows, maybe there might be in the future. Wanna come over here? Please, Grab that. Now, if I show you over here, there is a crate with an empty honeycomb piece. Should we go for it? Another shark's there. There's another way you can get it, but we'll go for it. Oh, that didn't work. Yippee! Snacker gets dessert too! Wanna wait for him to disappear and quickly jump. Now, I don't recommend doing this. If you're afraid of this shark, I would not do this. So we got that. Wanna go in this uh, talent drop form? And jump high and run. Now swim. Swim as fast as you can. Alright, we got some treasure chests here. Uh, when their mouths are open, we want to hop in. Because in here, we get some notes. Very, very nice. But you want to wind those teeth. Those teeth will really hurt you. In here, what do we got in here? Oh, we got some feathers. That's also very good. Alright. So I think that's it for over here. Now we want to go this way. Now we're really getting into some deep water, so you want to be careful here. There is a golden banjo statue. I do not want that. That is completely pointless to me, and I don't want it. So we're going to go up this, what would be like a stone version of Spiral Mountain. I want to come up all the way up here. Oop, don't fall off too, you don't want to do that either. And we found this X. X marks the spot. Well, we can't really dig. So... What you want to do is ground pound. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I love gold. Oh, that's funny. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can only carry 50 of them. So yeah, you press A to go higher. And just like swimming, if you hold R, you will turn a lot more sharper. So that's very helpful. I'm gonna come down here, and we're gonna grab these notes. 
and yes, you do slide off this. Before we go up, we want to go this way. Coming over here, we got some platforming. So, also, you've got to be careful. If you do fall, you got to get on this. This is your savior for getting out of the water. Coming over here, we got some eggs, some more eggs. Uh, right, I'll just come up here. Some more, and when we come over here, we got a Jiggy! Very, very helpful. Alright, so that makes four. So we want to head back because there's some notes. We want to grab. We're going to go up that other area now. Uh, this way, that may not be a good idea. So we'll go like this, and we made it. Okay, good. So now we want to go up these stairs. Coming up here. Jumping is probably best to do it. Uh, you got the honeycomb hive again, in case you need some health. And here we got this guy. Jump in here. Ow. See, that's what happens if you land on the teeth. You will get hurt. We got some mumbo tokens. I think that was two in there? Two or three? One of the two. So. Yeah, see, you can't jump on that. You gotta use the talent trot to come up here. Up here, we got this guy. Uh, I forgot what this thing is, but... He will come towards you, and if he gets close enough, he will explode. And he's also got a ticking noise. He will blow up. Best way to get rid of them? Bring him close to the edge, and hit him with that. Very nice. So you want to go down to the center of this giant pool-like thing. And... We got a Jiggy and a Honeycomb piece. It's very nice. Um, over there you got... Uh, a Banjo Golden Statue. And we didn't make it. And we got hurt from long falls. If you fall from a high area, you will get hurt. So you want to watch out about that. So we got some notes over here. Um, we want to go back up. Because up here... We got some eggs. There we go. We got some eggs, and if you were hearing that like little like whistling sound, there was a Jinjo! And what do you know? It was the orange one, after all. Sorry, buddy. I know we found purple first and not orange. I'll probably get a few people hating me for that, but I'm not gonna question that. So we want to come over here, and we found another X. This is, would have been the other X you would have hit if you were following the trail. Got that. Now, what I'm about to do might seem a little crazy, but what you want to do is jump off right here and ground pound. For there is the other empty honeycomb piece. And don't worry, you're most likely going to get hurt from this shark. And I get to get hurt. I did not get hurt. Not bad, I will say. Um, you could go back up and there's the notes up there. But we're going to do that in a few... in a little bit. We want to come over this way. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, Chris... Cascane boy. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. Probably said that wrong, but... Anyways, this is Nipper. He will try to hit you. All you got to do is wait for an opening and then hit him in the face. Sounds nice. And if this is Nipper's beach, then I guess this only guess maybe this only area is his beach. Anyways, with him gone, we can enter his shell. And we got some notes in here. Definitely want to grab those. Keep going. And we right at the center. He is no longer to be seen. Maybe he's just gone down to two uh, crabs now. So. Over here, we got a Jiggy. Ah, very nice. So we want to go this way. We want to leave the shell, because there's nothing else for us in here. I don't think there is, unless... Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing else. I like how there's uh, cracks in the shell, so it shows the sky. That's nice. It's a nice little detail. Those lights coming from the shell that we've... Uh, from the cracks of the shell. Kind of helpful. Anyways, coming over here, now we want to go up, oh wait a minute, nope, nope, before we leave, I remember, there's a mumbo token right here, we want to grab that. Now we want to go up there and collect those notes. And who knows, we might find more stuff along the way. We come up here, 
There's this guy. What has he got? And I'm gonna get hurt. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that would have been high enough to get up. He takes a little bit slower than the rest, I kind of notice. I got some eggs. Very nice. Now, we want to go over this way. And we're gonna collect those notes that we've seen. So we come over here, and... We found another X. I wanna hit that. And it's telling us to go that way. So while we go that way, we're gonna collect some more notes. Definitely wanna do that. Over here, we got some more. And with these three, we have 91. Ah, uh, something I wanna point out. This thing there. That'll be explained a little bit later on. That, I believe, says Shark Food Island. So you hit this X, and we want to go that way. And now we will actually take the skies. So flying over here, it leads us to that column, that little pillar area that had nothing for us except for some notes in that enemy. But now it does. I'm going to hit this X. Ha! You'll never find me now. We got a question mark. And we got a giant X. So that's where we want to go. Want to hit that. And there we go. Yikes, please open me gently. And there we go. We got a Jiggy. All right, so with seven left, what's left there to do? Um, yes, you want to come over here. I want to aboard the Salty Hippo again. And we're going to take to the sky. Oh, Mumbo Token. Want to grab that. Yeah, whenever you see a Mumbo Token, you definitely want to grab it. Totally forgot that was there, actually. So, we want to come up here, and we're going to go on this. Now we have two areas we can go. We have this spot that has a note. Or we go over here that has this guy. This be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Um, I definitely don't want to touch the booty, but I definitely want to grab the jiggy. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. All right, with eight jiggies, we want to come back up here because now we want to go through the other pathway. I want to go over here. So we come up here, and we're going to grab that note. And there we go. Now we're at 92. Very good. And we come up here. We're so high up, the music stops. But I like the sound of the seagulls. So quiet. I don't like it. So, time to interrupt the music with a Jinjo. I like that little song that they play. This is the best time to hear that song is because the music's so quiet. And with that, we got the Jinjo. Wanna come over here and... We wanna come up this area. We're gonna avoid those yum yums and keep going. You can go up that way, but I recommend you go this way because you get some notes, uh, notes, eggs, and then you get some notes. That's it. That's what I meant to say. And you get some more eggs. Definitely helpful. Now, before you go through that door, even though it's shut, we want to hit the grunty switch right here. And with that, we got a jiggy out of a cannon. Now, for you to go through this door, do your rat a tap rap. And there we go. Coming through here, we got some more notes. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. While getting all the notes. We found all the jiggies in this world. But that, not much left of this world. So we might as well head back. But there's still one more thing I could get, not up here, but in this world. So, what do you want to do? I believe it's, is it on this side or is it on the other side? Um, it's over there. So, what you want to do, 
Get in your talent drop and jump! You land in the water and you want to watch out for that shark. We are very close to that shark. We got a mumbo token. You can actually hurt this shark. Um, yeah, I'll show it off. The shark to appear. Let him get close to you. And then fire some eggs. This might take a few times, but... Here he comes. And there we go. It takes five hits. Now, this will definitely make swimming a whole lot easier in this world. But the catch is, he will respawn eventually. I don't know when he will, but he will respawn. So you definitely want to watch out for that. Alright, with that being said, um, if we go to our totals, actually, it will show that we have everything done. We have all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies, and all the empty honeycomb pieces. Very, very nice. With that being said, that's the end of Treasure Trove Cove. That's it for this world. I do enjoy this world. I really like the music. So, let's leave. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. We're going to hope we're going to make it so it says that at every world. So, you want to come up here and we're going to take out this gruntling. There we go. And we're going to grab this jiggy. Ooh, all right now one more thing before we end things off remember that uh, jump uh, spring pad that I saw on the other floor the second floor well we want to go there because now we can access to that other painting that we saw over there that being said it's that one right there so let's go over let's jump our way up and here we go and what does this world say? Clanker's Cavern. Well, we definitely want to go through here. And it is a total of five jiggies. So press A. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. Yep. If you press Z like this, all the pieces will go in. And with that, the picture is complete. And the entrance to... Clanker's Cavern is now open, and we will be exploring that in the next part. So, actually, might as well stay up there. It's good to give you listen to the music. Your butt will tell you, and you'll know when my boot swings to and fro. Whatever. With that, we will end things off here. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will be exploring this world, Clanker's Cavern. See you guys then.